Welcome back to the Junkyard Kids. Today we're gonna take a look at the Red Cat 64. A little bit different flavor than what I'm used to dealing with than what I mess around with. Uh, I like some low and slow as you can see behind me. Um, I think it's fun. But <clears throat> what is my overall real opinion on this thing? Is it good? How does it perform? Uh, you're not buying this thing for performance, you're buying it for coolness and looks. But does it deliver? Oh <laughs> well, we shall find Feel like John Moran, yeah. need a triple double. Aye. Told him check the stats. Uh. Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah. I don't draw the ball. Nah. Now I never fumble. Uh. I'm the MVP. Yeah. Now I feel like Russell. Oh. Yeah. Feel like John Moran, hey. need a triple double. Yeah. Told him check the stats. Hey. Yeah, I got a couple. <laughs> I don't draw the ball. Yeah. Now I never fumble. Check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't try the ball. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Now I feel like Russell. Feel like John Morant. Need a triple double. Told him check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't. Cool, right? I mean, there's definitely a cool factor about this thing. Gives me that '90s feel. You know, a little bit of gangster rap in your coffee. You know what I mean? Yeah. The remote is insane, man. Those are the switches. This switch here is dead as the front. Uh, the front wheels are all controlled by one servo. It's more powerful. It's actually a reef servo. And it gives you the bounce evenly. Um, I, as you can see from the driving, am no professional. But I mean, look at these details. It's pretty cool, man. The interior is pretty plain Jane, but there's a lot of guys rocking some serious stuff on this. But it looks like tinted windows. Uh, I'm definitely going to gold trim this bad boy out because, I mean, that's that's 90s to me. A little bit of gold go a long way. It's got antennas to put on it. Um, you could do three wheel motion. You could hop up and down. You could just bounce all over the place if you want. It's brushed. It's not really fast, but I don't think you would want something like this to be fast. It's more something to look at, right? This is the Candy Chrome Green Edition. Um, it's purely stock. I haven't done anything to it. 64 Impala Super Sport body. It just gleams. It's a nice shelf car. It's actually a nice car to just mess with, to be really honest. Once you get the remote down, it kind of all works together. You could hit those two buttons up top. Raise the suspension all the way up, hit the button on the left, and your front suspension will drop, let it go, and bam, you bounce right back up. That's how you get the, it hopping. You could drop the rear down too if you're all the way up. So, where do the problem areas lie with this thing? Well, it is fun for what it is, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> right now, when this video is out, there's a sales event going on through Red Cat, which is why I bought one. So they're a little bit cheaper. I think their price point is usually right around 500 bucks, which to me, I mean, I'm, I spend way more on crawlers, but to me, for what this car does, 500 bucks might be a little bit too much. That's just me. Um, that's just my opinion. I have nothing against Red Cat products. I like them a lot, actually. I think they've come a long way. However, straight out of the box, you hit the three-wheel motion on this bad boy. And you drop this all the way down and the other side's tilted up. This rubs inside the chassis. Let's flip this over. See inside the chassis there? I don't know if I can get some light over here. There you go. See the wheel well, wheel well in there? Yeah. That tire will bottom out at an angle. Might even be able to push it up. I don't know. But right around in here, you really need to cut that out. Or you could set the endpoints on the servo to not drop as far in the back, but then what is the fun in that? You want these things as low as possible. 
I've seen people body dropping them and getting them even lower. Uh, that is definitely um, a flaw because that back wheel catches and when you turn to go either way in three wheel motion, it won't because that back wheel catches, it'll go straight or it'll even pull the opposite way. Um, so that's definitely a flaw. Uh, other than that though, I mean, in all reality, straight out of the box, they should have that problem fixed. It shouldn't even be an issue because there's some designer kits you could buy for this for the underneath chassis. It's like all silver. I mean, it, look, it's clean under there. You can see I haven't even messed with it. Um, you know, you could buy an all metal frame for underneath there, all metal chassis. This is all metal. I don't know if this problem is resolved in the corner, but if it's not, when you have metal, you're going to have to uh, cut that out. So I'm definitely going to cut out up underneath there. I'm going to mark off where the wheel actually hits and uh, take care of that. In the back here, this canister you see that looks like the fuel tank, okay, in here there are weights and there are too many weights in there because the actual battery pack sits up top there too. So if you drop, if you lift the suspension all the way up and you bounce that front end down, which will bounce it back up to get it to bounce as high as it possibly can, it will stay stuck on the back bumper because there's too much weight back there. So you need to take all that weight out at first if, if yours came with weights in it at all, which mine did haven't taken them out yet it comes with even more weight in the box which seems to be too much to me unless you're going to add metal up front or something um and that's minimal i mean you could remove that take care of that the cut in the wheel wells a little bit of going to be a pain in the butt it's something you shouldn't have to do and these back body pins here holy moly to get those in you got to kind of bend this bumper back i'm trying sorry i'm trying to get the light so you gotta bend this bumper back to get that to stretch and then slide those in there so tight from what i read they make a uh, magnetic body kit and um i guess the body just kind of slides right on this light is horrible sorry guys and uh there's no rubbing or anything in the front that's just from the driveway um but yeah, they make a gold trim kit for this, and they make Dayton wheels. They all kind of aftermarket accessories. Uh, in a full hopper, like this one is, that bounces, you got the 64 in a few different colors, the 59 in a few different colors. They also have a Monte Carlo, but it does not hop, from what I understand. Uh, I think they might be going to come out with some other things. Jeveries offers a lot of aftermarket stuff. There's aftermarket bodies for these. There's a whole cult following for this car in all reality, as there should be because it's cool. Red Cat really, in my opinion, hit a home run in this market, man. They went into a place nobody else was messing with and they, I don't, I don't want to say they perfected it, but they did a dang good job. So hats off to you, Red Cat. Any RC car, truck you look at that's straight out of the box, I mean, it's going to have things that you want to mod and it's going to have things that need modded if we're being honest every crawler i've ever pulled out of the box it needed something tweaked to suspension or something you know it needed something and this this is no exception cut out the wheel wells underneath on the chassis or set your endpoints on your servo whatever you prefer to do uh, i'm going to take all this chrome off because i did buy a gold kit for this bad boy and I'm gonna replace it all in gold. So next time you see this thing jumping, next time you hear the Snoop a dog a bumping, this thing's gonna be gold. I since I'm gonna have all the trim off, I may even paint this. I am thinking Ice Cube, his Impala, and today was a good day. That green, oh man. Uh, there's a lot of guys cutting the tops off of these. I mean, you should look on Facebook. Uh, I think it's RC Lowriders is one of the pages I follow. It's definitely that on Instagram. And man, some of the things these guys are doing with these is crazy. So check them out. If you're into it, uh, especially with the sale going on right now, it's what month? January? It's March of 2023 right now. I think the Red Cat sale is going on until the end of the month. Uh, if you don't want to buy a new one after that, um, buy a used one. Why not, right? 
I, uh, Red Cat is not paying me any money to endorse this product. This was bought with my own money. And um, I'm having fun with it, to be honest. I'm having fun. There's nobody else around here that I know that messes with them except a buddy of mine. Um, but yeah, I think it's just fun to kind of cool mess with, take pictures of, um, hop around, do some other cool stuff. So yeah, there you go.